In this video, you are going to learn how to grow your small account using Volatility 75 Index. Hi everyone, my name is Courage and welcome to Trading with Tani. On this channel, we are dedicated to make you a better trader. If that interests you, make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss any of the videos that we come up with each and every day. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can grow your small account using Volatility 75 Index. So before we get started, I just want to talk about why is it hard for you to grow a small account. So the reason why it is hard for you to grow a small account number one is you have few chances of making it right think about if you have five dollars or ten dollars in your account you only have few chances for you to grow that small account so if you have ten dollars you are you're trading for 75 index it simply means you only have like three chances of you growing that small account so make sure when you are trading a small account you know that i have few chances so do not hesitate into enter into trades do not hesitate to let your trades run because you already know that i have few chances of making that right then number two you need to understand that your account is too small for risk management so if you're trading a small a small account it's hard to grow it simply because you, you are not using risk management you are risking almost all of the account on each and every trade so in any point you can damage your account so you need to embrace that and you need to to realize that if you lose that money it's not your fault it's not that you are a bad trader but simply the account is too small for risk management so with that two things being said let me show you a blueprint of how you can grow your small account the first thing that you want to do if you want to grow a small account is find a proven strategy that works right so how do you know that this strategy is proven you need to make sure that you backtest that strategy so backtesting a strategy is simple it's all about going into the charts if you say you are going to be trading uh support and resistance you are you understand how many times the market touches the support and resistance and reverses on that you just back testing your strategy if you think about using the moving average crossover what you are doing is going back into the charts looking at each and every time when the market crosses the moving average and then you see what was the result after that so if you see that this strategy is working then now you have something to go into the market with and start using right then the number two is find an instrument that trends a lot right you want to trade an instrument that trends you don't want to get into the market and trade something that doesn't move very much when you're trading a small account it is very hard for you to grow a small account using currencies than it is to grow using synthetic indices why because synthetic indices they trend a lot if you get into a winning trade you can let that trade run for a very period of, of time so i will show you a simple strategy that you can use to grow a small account with this pair which is volatility in indices which trends a lot so this volatility 75 index it trends a lot and if you get into a winning trade you can make money because you can stay in that winning trade for a very long period of time right so before i show you the strategy the other thing that i want you to do if you want to grow a small account is huge use huge risk to reward ratio so what i mean by reward ratio is when whatever the amount that you are risking per trade make sure if you win you win more of that money right so let's say you are risking two dollars per trade with only ten dollars in your account make sure that if you are risking ten dollars when you win make sure you make more than seven eight dollars per trade right so make sure you use one to three or one to four risk to reward ratio so if i'm risking three dollars if i win each trade i need to make at least twelve dollars so if i place ten trades and lose three dollars three dollars three dollars that will be a total loss of thirty dollars right but if i place another 10 trades and win those 10 trades making 12 dollars per trade that is going to be a total of 120 trades so it means after 20 trades if i lose 10 and win 10 using that same risk to reward ratio i would make a profit of around 90 dollars so that's how you grow that small account all you need is to use huge risk to reward ratio so that when you win you win more when you lose you lose small 
so now let me show you a simple strategy that you can use for you to grow a small account so i've been talking about this strategy and it works very very well it's called a trend line break strategy so what is a trend line break strategy we know that if the market is moving up it it moves uh with a series of higher highs and higher lows right and most of the time we might be able to connect this higher high these higher lows right here right so we know that for us to to make sure that this trend is reversed we need to break below this trend line or below this higher low here and then we know that the market is now going into a downtrend so with a small account what you want to do is you want to try to make sure that you sell as soon as the market breaks to the downside so that if the next trend that is coming is a downtrend you can get that downtrend as early as possible and then you can follow that uh, that that downtrend and make more money so i'm going to show you how to use this strategy in this volatility 75 index and i'm going to use the five minute time frame i think if you are trading a small account you need to use the five minute time frame why because the five minute time frame is going to allow you to place your stop losses at least with a small risk involved right so the the the, the, the trend line break strategy simply shows if you see a market making a series of higher highs and then if you are able to draw the trend line that connects the lower lows of the market so if i connect here and here and here it makes a trend line right but we see that this market has been going up but once the trend line is broken here it simply shows that the market is now likely to go to the downside so how do you do this you draw your trend line and when you see the market breaking past that trend line and closing below the trend line right so when the market closes below the trend line here it's your time to sell at this point here so you would sell at this point here and when, where do you put your your stop loss if the if this trend line is broken with a huge momentum candle right like this right you might want to wait for a pullback that comes back into the trend line right there right so if you if the if, if the trend line is broken with momentum like this you want to wait for a pullback that comes into into this trend line at this point here and then this is where you would sell so if you do rejection candle and then you put your stop loss above the that candle that broke the trend line here or you can draw a symbol uh can draw a symbol resistance zone here on on the on that uh zone with the candle that broke uh the, the 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 trend line so most of the time the market will reverse back into this zone here and then reverse it. so you put your stop loss there and then you take profits make sure it's more than three risk to reward ratio so if you are risking three dollars at this point here make sure this take profit should be at least nine dollars so do not take that profit if it doesn't reach nine dollars so let me show you another example here so as you can see we have the market here moving in an uptrend from this point and it's creating a trend line right there so the market is moving up up and it's creating a trend line and what do you see after a long period of time this trend line is finally broken so if this trend line is finally broken there's more chances that the market from this point here it's about to go down so what do you do once you see the trend line being broken all you need to do is sell after the close right make sure you wait for this candle to close below your trend line right so if it closes below your trend line so if your trend line was looking like this in this market closes below the trend line you would sell at that point here you put your stop loss above the the, the close of the the high of that candle there and then you put your take profit three times the risk don't put your take profit anywhere three times the risk if you are trading a small account if you are trading a bigger account of course you, um, you 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 don't want to be risking much of your account so you want to be doing like two to one uh 1.5 to one risk to reward ratio but if you are trading a small account you need to risk it all and then if you get one winning trade here it's gonna help your account very much <coughs> so thank you for watching this video if you want to learn more 
on how to analyze the market how to use price action trend lines uh, and multi time frames for you to analyze the market and also if you want to learn how to do risk management practices how to use uh, trading psychology so that you can improve your trading and make more money check out our forex mastery 1.0 course i will leave the link in the description so here what you need to do right now is go to the description visit that page and see what the course is all about so do it now and i'm going to meet you in the next video